like to welcome Bill Maddox from the Crossley School of Public Policy at the University of New Hampshire, along with two fellows from the Crossley School of Public Policy, Paul Rippey and Jeff Ash. We are here to talk about the Crossley School's campaign commitment. The Carsey School of Public Policy is a, uh, we kind of call ourselves a think do tank. We are involved in doing um, research that's timely and useful for practitioners, for policy makers and other change makers on children, vulnerable uh, families and the environment. And we also do work around community economic development. Our focus here at, at uh, the Carsey School of, uh, of uh, pu Public Policy is uh, savings groups, which is a, a radically different approach that takes microfinance and turns it upside down and small groups of about 20 people save, save their money, uh, save their money, make loans to each other and divvy up the profits. And this has been part of a movement that started in, in Niger and now is reaching 10 million people around the world. So it's our mission to undertake a number of initiatives that's going to greatly expand the outreach of the savings groups. We're committed to the overall concept of alleviating poverty for 100 million families. Um, we, our ap approach has always been a broader development approach. We look at microfinance as being one tool in a toolbox. Why should any kind of organizations join the campaign as well? That my first advice would be to take it seriously, think about what you're saying and what you're committed to before you just send something off. The second thing I would say is that if we're interested in alleviating poverty, I would recommend that anybody, even very credit-oriented institutions, think about, well, wait a second, where is the savings element? Our specific commitments, two of them, are about measurement. They're not just about what we're going to do, it's about how we're going to measure it. you got to go beyond anecdotes into the real numbers of people. People make targets, and if they don't make them, they think that that's bad, and I just think that's great. It's like when we fail is when we learn. So I would, the other piece of advice I would say is make an ambitious target. Don't be afraid to fail. Just learn from your failures. It is commitment of individuals, and even when they get together, of organizations that makes things happen.